Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Banished. If you hadn't have guessed by now. Now, let's get to it, shall we? Things are looking up. The population has recovered from the uh, death dive it was about to commit, and uh, it's stabilised. However, I'm just starting to look at these other stats and they're dropping, and that ain't good. So. Let's take a look. I'm not going to expand the houses at the moment. Population's okay, so I want to keep it that way. Now, I've got a bunch of... Let me bring it up. Let me bring it up. There we go. Okay, so... We've got... Hunters working at 50%. Gatherers nowhere near the amount. Okay, so I was worried about losing wood, but I'm just looking now. My food's dropping. It wasn't this low before. And again, it's just come out of winter, so we're going to have this year's worth of crop. So bringing in 500, though, that's not good. I'm just trying to work out how to do this, because at some point I'm going to need to build another crop field and you know, start circulating food. However, I did move in about uh, 2,400 units of food to the trading post, because I'm trying to get some wheat seeds. I did a little bit of reading up, and got to sort of keep a healthy diet for the people so they've got to have a variety of foods, meats, um, grains and uh, you know just anything else, berries and all that, fruits. So the only thing I'm lacking at the moment is grains so I need to get those seeds from the trader so I had them there. It will cost about 2500 but I've got to wait. Anyway, anyway I just need to be careful because, like I said, I'm running low on wood, stone, iron. Luckily I've got plenty of tools and it's a simple job of just sending some labourers out to collect some iron. However, as I said, the wood is going down and that isn't good. So, this Forester's Lodge only, only completed about 74 logs last year, whereas this one completed 94. So this one's always got more. Now, this is probably due to the fact that a lot of the real, st real estate here is taken up by the hunting cabin and the gatherer's hut. So I really recommend, if you're going to do this in the future, make sure that the, hunt the forester's lodge is out on its own. That's all I, can, all I can say. So I'm building another one here. Yes, there's a lot of empty gaps, but hopefully that will get filled up eventually. But, um, yeah, I need to sort of, you know get this going. Oh, and I built a hospital. I've got a hospital here ready and waiting just in case anyone becomes sick. Because I've, you know, had a lot of nomads come in. So that's worth pointing out. But yeah, right now it's just a case of try and keep everyone alive and just keep plodding on. The graveyard is at 26 out of 99. The fishing dock, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed with the fishing dock. We've got a trader in there, that's always good. Let's have a look. Wool coat, not what I wanted, okay. Dismiss. Yeah, my food's continuing to drop, so that's not good. But then again, I, don't, I barely have any people gathering food, so that is probably a big reason why. Hunting cabins bring in okay amounts in. I should have a few more laborers now. Yes, I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and up the amount of people working at the gatherers' huts. That's always a good thing to do. And I'll probably max out the hunting cabin next. And we'll just keep going like that. My one thing I don't understand is that the herb, the herbs I've got stored, the medicine has not dropped, it's been at 499 and I mean, I don't understand why is no one eating them, because normally when I had one herbalist the amount of herbs was continually dropping and I'm just not sure why it's not happening now, unless everyone's just you know, peak you know, they're just peak and healthy anywho, I've built more storage barns as well, I probably should point out Got one here, one here, and then a, a few there. So yeah, we were expanding quite a lot just because I keep filling areas, and that's not good. So 
So our, our firewood, that's maxed out, that's good. And our logs are starting to build up, so I guess it's okay. Our food sort of going up a little bit. Alright, we're still bringing in food, that's good. I think the reason why it was so low last year was because I just decided people to stop working here again. So, that is good news. How goes the Forester's Lodge? Not too bad. See, what I'm hoping is that if I set this Forester's Lodge up and it produces more wood than this one over here, then what I'll do is probably just shut this one down for a bit. Okay, so every now and then I'll get a random person on a boat that comes sailing by. He looks like the trader, but he never stops. Now, I don't know why this is. This has happened multiple times. Now, keep in mind, I just dismissed the other person and he left. But every now and then, I'll get, like, one person come round. I always wondered if that was something to do with the town hall, something to do with the nomads, but it doesn't seem to have much... It doesn't really seem to coincide, so I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, we've had another person grow up. You see, I was contemplating setting up a it's about putting enough person as a hunter but I'm out of coats so it probably wouldn't hurt to make more coats just because but yeah I was talking about getting a school set up at some point but my problem is is that I don't know when's a good time to do it because I'm going to run out of labourers to sort of, you know, replace people. But then again, maybe I'm okay. Once I can guarantee that I'm, you know, fairly stable and we're not running out of food and we're not running out of any of the material, then maybe I'll set up a school. But we'll see, we'll see. Now that's always good, but I imagine people are going to start dying soon as well. I'll put that person in there as a hunter, that can't hurt. So, the reason why I made that guy a tailor is because this storage barn's got 122 leather, this one has 44, this one has 68, and this one has 40. So, we have a lot of leather that's just sitting around doing nothing, so I might as well put it to good use, make sure everyone's warm. So, the reason why I filled this up with a bunch of uh, produce is because one trader came by and was offering to sell some livestock, which I'd never seen before, so I quickly rushed to fill it up because I had lots of excess of food. However, they wouldn't take any food, like, it wasn't a value, uh, it wasn't a, a proper currency to use. I'm not entirely sure how to trade. Was I just not using the right kind of material? or the right kind of sort of currency so I don't, I don't know anyway we'll see Oops. keep doing that it's almost cold there can't be good anyway the coats are going fairly quick but eventually they'll get all uh, they'll start stockpiling So I guess, yeah, things are going quite well. I'm happy about this. And one thing I want to show is that, I didn't actually show you this in the last video, is that the town hall has a bunch of really useful graphs and whatnot. So it's got the town overview. And you can probably find all this information elsewhere. It's just like easy to quickly pop it up here and look. It tells you how many people are clothed, which is kind of funny. 25% of my populace is, is wearing clothes. That's always good. 0% are educated. Production. It shows the limits and how much is used. And I can actually show total time as well. We've made 84,000 units of food so far. <laughs> we've got our inventory here, everything that we've got. So my meat kind of just ran out because I had no hunters for a while. Apparently we've had some nomads. Uh, we've got graphs here, fairly useful. In fact, for 33 years, we've got a 50. We can see basically where the uh, 
the amount of children's has sort of gone down, but now it's starting to build back up, so that's good. Alright, there's four nomads wanting to join now. I'm not sure. I don't want to have too many. I'm going to just reject them. So I wonder if I can just leave them here in case they want to sort of join or not. In fact, do nomads sort of. Oh, yeah, they do. I was going to say, do they sort of hang around? Which indeed they do. Do I take them in or do I let them go? I think I'm just going to deny because if I take them in then I might end up having too many people and run out of food because my food's still going down so I've got to be very careful about that. Oh and uh, this is the trade items page which shows you the kind of acquired seeds and livestock. Now I have uh, pear, cabbage and pumpkin seeds. So, speaking of, why don't we make some more pumpkins, or I'll do that next season. Okay. So yeah, we've got a bunch of labourers now, in fact... Okay, so this is back up. Now, I would have preferred to add the new labourer as something else, but... Oh, we've already got people over here, okay, well... You know what, I'll sort this out later. What I want to do now is remove some of this stone. That's a lot of stone to take out. Let's just... How much do we actually need to remove? Oh, we only need to remove this little bit, so... stone, I'll probably assign the library to work somewhere. Do I have anyone working at the blacksmith? I do indeed. I oh, they're out, okay, they're out of iron. Okay. That's potentially not good. So here's the other thing, is that I've actually iron in the area, although there's still a bit here. Right, so we've still got a whole bunch of iron. That's not iron. Right, let's just go ahead and collect all this. And then eventually what I'll do is get a mine set up. See, what I'd have preferred is to get a school set up first and then get like a mine. And the quarry, but kind of expanded that quite far, although there's still a lot of raw materials on the ground that I can always send people to collect, so it's not really that much of an issue. We've got five labourers, so I'm just going to let them be, let them uh, grab these materials, and then, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll knock the blacksmith back up, because he's going to get trader here. He's brought mushrooms, so yeah, I don't want mushrooms. Dismiss. Just wondering if I should be adding more bridges. Like, is it a waste, or just does it help having multiple ways to get around?
certainly considering setting that school up. I suppose I could go ahead and build it, even if I don't use it yet, it doesn't take that much in the way of materials. The question is where would I squeeze it in at? Now it would actually fit in here. My only problem is, is that it's in the same radius of this house, so if it caught fire that wouldn't be good, but then again it's kind of out of the way here. Alright, we'll put it here just because, I mean, most of my town's kind of spread out, but, you know, squeezing things in where I can probably isn't bad, and there's another ship going by. Just waiting for when I need to build another stockpile, but I never seem to fill those. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and max out the hunt hunting lodge, and I kind of want to max out the gatherers as well, just because our food has dropped, you know, under 3k now, that's not good, so we'll do this and see what happens. I think at some point I really do need to uh, expand my farm, but I'm not sure where I'm going to do that. There's room over here, there's definitely room over here, I can just clear this clear this away and probably fit in like one big one here. And it's kind of mounting this around, so I have to be careful. I don't want to do what I did before where I had like several massive fields. Maybe just have like one big one. Might be the way to do it. I mean I could certainly build another one this size and uh, assign two people to it. Cause, I mean, it's still producing quite a lot considering. I also want to point out there's been no disasters yet which is quite nice. Then again the first disaster that hits is probably going to be a real nasty one. thing this game is missing is like an you know, over the shoulder view of the villagers, although I don't know if that's really going to be interesting. I mean, my play, I've played most, well, 95, well, 99% of this game in, you know, the max speed, which probably isn't ideal. I mean, it is kind of nice just to slow it down and just watch them as they work, you know, it's, that is quite nice, but if you want to progress anyway, you can't play like this. But it is nice. Got a nice growing sort of town. I just like how everything works. Like you got this guy here bringing over, I was the blacksmith bringing iron over so he can work. Collecting tools he's made and he's taking them over to the storage barn, which in turn will be transferred from the storage barn over to the marketplace. So yeah, that is kind of cool. Everyone's pretty healthy and happy, except for her. Which is always good. Now the only thing I've got to worry about now is everyone sort of reaching that same age, you know, being the same age and dying at the same time as I've had to deal with before. That would be bad. Now I want to point out that my food is still dropping, and that is not good. I 
using the fisherman, but... You see, if I... You see, the way this is going to work... If I can get... Oh, so I'm just... So I'm thinking now is that if I get people in that school, I've only got four children now, so there aren't really going to be really going to be much use. But then again, I don't know, because if they get educated, they're going to be more smart than they start producing stuff. I think what what this means is I'm going to have to sort of keep this size village going for as, for a, you know several more years without expanding in order to get the. Uh, the use out of the peak out of the school. My only problem is now is that food is just still dropping. Now I've got everyone working again. Hopefully that'll increase the uh, you know the, the food that I'm bringing in. But it may be a case that I'm going to have to go ahead and set up another big farm somewhere. Now I know I've said this already, but I think I'm just going to have to go and do it. So we will see. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and make sure you join me again.